Tim. Kita lanjutkan pada partai kedua. Ganda pertama. Ladies and gentlemen, second match, first doubles, China represented by Tsai Yun and Fung Hai Peng, Korea represented by Lee Dong Suk and Kim Dong Moon, and by So the players for the next match are called to court. And of course, it's the first men's doubles and a surprise selection for Korea. They've split the normal pairing of Lee Dong-soo and Yi young Sung, And now Lee Dong-soo is playing with Kim Dong-moon. And they're up against the Chinese pairing of Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng. Well, the Chinese World Championship bronze medalist last year when the event was played in Birmingham. And just for identification purposes, when we see the two Chinese players, it's Fu Hai Feng is the left-hander. From our commentary position, we can see Lee Hyun Il sitting down at the end of the arena, disappointed with his performance in the singles. But now it's the turn of the first doubles. Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng up against Lee Dong Su and Kim Dong Moon. Kim Dong Moon, probably one of the current best players of the doubles and the mixed doubles disciplines perhaps would be considered one of the best ever Kim Dong Moon Olympic gold medalist in the mixed doubles event back in Atlanta in 1996 playing with Gil Young Art twice he's been world champion in both mixed doubles and men's doubles world champion with Ha Taekwon, there's the great man himself back in 1999 silver medal two years later but he's playing with Lee Dong Su 29 years of age born in Seoul and Lee Dong Su Olympic silver medalist in the men's doubles but we're looking first at the Chinese pairing of Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng, number two on the world rankings, and as you can see, beaten opponents in all three matches. First of all, in Group A against the USA and Indonesia, and then in the quarter-final against Japan, no problems against Masuda and Otsuka. 15-4, 15-5, that victory. Chinese pair, recent winners of the Swiss Open earlier this year. And as you can see, this pair have not played together yet in this Thomas Cup campaign. But that's not to say that they haven't been playing, especially Lee dong Su. He has played in the three previous matches in Group B against New Zealand and Germany, playing, of course, with Yu yong sung They won both of those. And then in the quarterfinals, again, Lee dong Su was playing with Yu yong sung And they beat... Terawi Wantana and Pan Vistas in three games. And it's perhaps that three games has prompted the Korean management to split the pairing and decide to go with the huge experience of Kim Dong Moon. Kim Dong Moon, incidentally, has played twice already in this Thomas Cup campaign. First of all, against Germany, playing with Kim Yong Hyun and then in the quarterfinal against Thailand, once again playing with Kim Yong-hyun, won both 
their matches there. So he's had experience. He's not coming in cold to this match. But Darren, is it a stroke of genius just to uh, select and swap the pairings? Yes, I don't think the Chinese pair expected to play against Kim Dong Moon. So I think that is in itself caused a little bit of shock. But also, his, you know, his experience in, in the semi-final, they need to get on the, on the scoring sheet now. So I, th I think it's very good tactics from Korea. The umpire for this match, Peter Gaines of Denmark, David Davies of Wales. Well, they've got down there Michael Shawmans of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Kai Yong. I think. On my left, Korea represented by Lee Dong Su, Kim Dong Moon. So the Chinese pair nearest to us as we look down Korea. on the court. And just to confirm, Lee it is indeed Chou. Peter Gaines of Denmark, who is the umpire. So Korea get this second match of the semi-final tie underway. Korean pairing was the surprise. They do have some experience playing together. Last year they played the Malaysian Open and in fact won that title. And who did they beat in the final? Their opponents of today. That's the only previous tournament that the Koreans have played together. So obviously the only previous head-to-head -head between these two pairs was that Malaysian Open final. on boat in the white shirt there head coach to the Chinese team and Darren this really is a must win match as far as Korea are concerned if they want to win the tie yeah absolutely you know, they'll be banking on getting this in the bag. They, they need to win it. They're 1-0 down. that the Chinese want to pressurise Lee Dong Su. Yeah, playing most of their attacking shots onto him at the moment. Lee Dong Su aiming to go cross court there, but onto the left hand of Fu Hai Feng. And 
anticipated so well for Kai Yun. Moon. Yeah, and this is where he's so good. When he's under pressure, he's not panicking. He's still trying to do constructive things with the shuttle. This is all very fast and furious One, at the moment. Second serve. from Kim Dong Moon, couldn't save the day. It's amazing, Darren, Lee Dong Su always looks such a busy player on court. He always seems to be in a hurry. That's right, he's, he's, he's always rushing around. I think he, you know, he's doing his best to get everything back, not to let Kim Dong Moon down. Perfect. Well, a good return of serve, but aided by the net cord. Play from Fu Hai Feng kept coming forward at the last moment, changed the direction of his attack onto Kim, Moon, Kim Dong Moon's body. You can see the strapping on Kim Dong Moon's right leg there. Is that something we should worry about or just precaution? I think it's just precaution, really, Joe. He's, it, it, he's wore it in other tournaments, so I think it's just, just to stop him pulling any little strains or muscles. Two, three, second server. Oh, my word. He doesn't miss many of those. Feng was going to leave the shuttle at the back of the court. Kai Yun turned round to watch. There he is, my goodness. Well, that can be very dangerous. I can speak from experience there. Partner hitting a shuttle in the eye.
there's the umpire calling a fault because the shuttle hit the shirt of Kai Yun. Great attack in play from King Gon Moon though. Not once did he stop there, kept going. Chinese care just indicates that the perspiration from them has dropped down onto the court and the court's become a little bit slippery. Three, four. the point earlier on that Kim Dong Moon under pressure always looks so calm he certainly did in that rally how does he do that they're yeah, fantastic reactions for him he'd be a little bit disappointed there he got himself back in the rally and missed the easy shot It wide. Park Yubong on the left, Kang Kin Jin on the right, two coaching staff. Park Yubong, of course, Olympic champion in Barcelona. In the men's doubles and silver medalists in the mixed doubles in Atlanta. Of course, Darren, we should point out that Ha Tai Kwan, who normally plays with Kim Dong Moon, is injured at the Five, moment, unable to be here. And that, of course, is why they've played with the partnerships and split them up and changed them around. Three. Service over. Three. Five. Four. Yeah, great play from Kim Gong Moon. Good short serve, anticipated the next shot, onto it quick, setting up the easy kill for himself. from Fu Hai Feng the shot will come to him he didn't want to give the lift away but saw Kim Dong Moon at the net and just bobbed it up for him service hold hold 6-5 second server Kim Dong Moon just checking with 
the service judge David Davies of Wales Darren, you'd never know that this Korean pairing don't play regulate on the world tour. They seem to be combining so well together. Yeah, they're movement around each other at the moment, reading what the other one's going to do. Lovely attacking play from the Korean pair there. Yes. Swishing their smashes from one side to the other. This time into the left hip, the Fu Hai Feng. This is not just the power, of course, all four men have got very big smashes, but it's the placement as well, isn't it? And the vision to see where he was defending saw that aiming towards his hip across court was going to do the damage Six. All. these decisions have to be so quickly made yeah split second decisions Pressure in from both the Chinese players there. Putting Lee Dong soon, awful lot of trouble. Once again, the players having to take a break while the court is seen to. Umpire asking the players to play on immediately. Six, all, second serve. Not really paying that much attention to him. Good play from Lee Dong Su. Cover the net, delicate little push. Just down on the front service line. Oh, what a tremendous Seven. low serve. Shuffle skimming the top of the tape. the first time we've seen a misunderstanding between the two Koreans. Yeah, Kai Young anticipate the shot very well at the net. 
This time Lee Dong Soon coming backwards, thinking Kim Dong Moon was going to take the shot. Fantastic rally from both pairs there. In the end, the Chinese getting a miss it off the frame from King Don Moon. Six, seven. Clever play. Kai Yun switching the pace. Good judgment from Kim Dong Moon leaving the shuttle and it landed short. Oh, top ten. Kim Dong Moon took a shot that would have gone wide of the court. Yeah, Fu Hai Feng cutting across the feathers. Lovely cross court shot, but I think it was drifting out. is certainly long at the back line. Kim Dong Moon wants the shuffle changed. was fantastic from Fu Hai Feng. Yeah, the speed in which he comes into the net, anything loose, he's onto it so quickly. Again, the Koreans asking for the court to be mopped.
Eight. Nine. Well played from Lee Dong Su. Lovely push. Just clipping the top of the tape. The Chinese getting it back, but very short lift. This really is being played at a brutal pace. Yeah, once the Chinese are at the net, so quick onto each shuttle. Good defence from Kim Dong Moon. Ten, nine, second serve. Yeah, done very well under a lot of pressure. But again, somehow managed to get it back close to the tape. Service over. Lovely return of serve. must have changed his mind. Yeah, Ka Young trying to convert the defence into attack with a sharp push to the cross court. Really, not shot wasn't on. Fantastic play from the Korean pair there. In the end, Kim Dong Moon perfectly angled smash straight at the body of Kayan. Kim Dong Moon just saying to Lee Dong Su, that was mine, you should have left it for me. Smash from Fu Hai Feng. Not expecting a cross call. Once again, the Chinese not deceived at the net, standing their ground. Yeah, Lee Dong Su trying to push it down the line between the two Chinese pair. But Kai Young read it very well. Well, cool good by the line judge. Oh, well, we've had a correction from Peter Gain. Correction in. 
Well, first of all, he said correction out and then correction in. What on earth is happening, Darren? I really don't know. The linesman called it out. Umpire said correction in. I, I, I don't know where we're at at the moment. Well, of course, the International Badminton Federation experimenting with a change of the laws of badminton laws and rules. And up until now, the umpire cannot overrule a line judge, but they're experimenting with the overall. So, in fact, he has corrected it to be an in. Turn of service from Lee Dong Su. Pushed very softly, straight at the centre line. with a new partnership both going well, for the same shot ten. and leaving a huge gap across court the key to this match. from Lee Dong Su can't afford it at this stage in the game very short put himself under lots of pressure well, this has been a fascinating opening game and now the Chinese pair on game point Oh, my word. Service over. 10, 14. Well, I don't think I've seen a player miss by that far on flip serve.
What an incredible point, first of all. Lee Dong Su tried to play a shot, missed it, still had time to hit the shuttle back, so. And then what a finish from Kim Dong Moon.